the world. How are you doing on this beautiful Sunday morning? Uh, I'm going to go out front. It's not that early, it's about half seven. But it's a beautiful morning. It's been raining for the last god knows how long. So you're welcome to join me for this lovely little ride this morning. See where we end up. Oh, and I also need to uh, test out uh, my new, hang on, my new can. It's the first time I've taken it out. Since I fitted it, the Remus Hawk, I think it is. Now, hopefully it'll sound brilliant. I don't know the reason why it shouldn't do. So yeah, first little ride. So come on, let's see what we can get up to. Let's go. Hello, how are you doing? Well, I went out. I thought I wouldn't film the first boring bit. So I've got three cameras on today. One at the back, directly into the sun, so you probably see nothing. My usual, still haven't changed the position. And that one looking at my beautiful face. Shut up. And today we're out with the Remus Cannon. The Remus Hawk, it's my first ride with it on. It's definitely a lot more tone to it than the, the, stand, you know, the basic standard one. I'm not quite sure if I 100% like it, if I'm honest. Um, I like a deeper sound. If I take the baffles out, it probably would be. But they're not that easy to do nowadays, so they're really welded in, but you can get them out. Anyway. We might go there, see we got on. It's not the sound I was after, put it that way. But I'm not totally disappointed. It's got a bit more noise about it, which I like. It's more like a raspberry than a grunt, sort of a grunt, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know if you could pick it up. I've got the camera at the back, so that should pick some of it up. Oh, but I forgot about that bit. Don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, I think it's all right. We'll get used to it. I like the look of it. Maybe I just have to take the baffles out to get the sound I want. Always want something better, don't we? Always, never happy. Anyway, I thought I'd bring you out for a bit of a ride with me. Give the Remus a bit of a blast and I could take it home and check everything's nice and tight still after it's had a, gone through a couple of warming cycles. And uh, yeah, it's very fresh. It's a nine degrees this morning. Beautiful day though, it's been raining. What weekend are we now? Uh, yeah, I think by now, hopefully if I got it right, the, the last video you saw should have been fit, me fitting this Remus exhaust. And this is my first ride afterwards because the rain has been horrendous. Storms and all sorts. I think it's about the 30th today of August. And it's first time the sun has shone for a few days to be fair. Oh dear. I already caught the traffic up, I didn't want to do that. I've even got my heater grips on today! <laughs> what a chicken, I know. Can't get, I'm, still, I'm still in shock myself how much I love these uh, Anarchy Adventure tyres. So far. Let's see how long that lasts, see? I went out, uh, I didn't film it, but I went for my service on my bike. Uh, last week to BM I went out for about 100 miles ride before to get the miles up I didn't bother filming it it was peeing down absolutely pissing down with rain there's no other word for it I can't put it any other politely than that pissing down it was horrendous I got absolutely drenched but you know what the tyres didn't move once the tyres were fine and that's the one thing I was worried about in the rain it were, they were fine, they were solid, and I, I, to this point anyway, I can't see any difference. I know, I'm sorry, I've said this before, to my Metzlers, and the Metzler Road ones I thought were the best things, sliced cheese. Sliced cheese? <laughs> oh. <laughs> sliced bread, you know what I mean. So, time will tell. I don't think that exhaust is too obtrusive. It was a bit louder when I started up outside the house this morning at 8 o'clock though. <laughs> I thought, yep, yeah, the neighbours are definitely going to know I'm going out for a ride tonight. Oh, yeah, beautiful up here, isn't it? This is the road coming out of Ruthin and it goes towards Kerrig Deridian and if you carry on you can go, you can go to Langochland and Balder. Langochland and Balder and then to the right, it's better to call it. See where I'll get on. And 
pins. I got my pin lock in, guys. My pin lock. It's not working very well, but I got it in. It's a bit nippy in the shade. Seven degrees. Beautiful. Beauty of these roads is because there's lots of twists and bends in them. You feel like you're going a lot faster than you are. I mean, within the speed limit, thank God, it's easy to film it. I'm just having loads of fun, loads of fun. Beautiful. Just see where the road goes up in the distance over there. Few chaps out today with the same idea as me. I've had a few bikes. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna blow your ears off. Whoa, 10 degrees. <coughs> 10 degrees. Denby Moors on the right of us. We're now coming down to Kirkadridian. Be that way.
definitely fresh. Now we're going into the sun now, so you probably can't see that on this one now. But a nice view from behind. <laughs> Let's pass something so you've got something to look at. the trees. Nice of those in the big van in the front of me though. To be fair he's not holding me up he's just spoiling the view. <laughs> so if we go this way we've done a big loop again and to carry the Viridian left towards sort of well Coco Tabala or Langothan this way. We're going to go as far as Cordwain and turn left, which takes us back towards the other side of Ruthin again. It's a nice loop. So we'll go back this way. Stick on the A494. It's a good road. Tires a bit of a push, what happens? Nothing. And that's the way we like it. Nothing happening. through my friend yeah good boy <laughs> the hell's he got on his back of fishing rod Pulling off or just going slow. I like a dynamic, it's a stay in there now. I keep forgetting to believe got it. I think I had it in road when I was in the rain the other day. Who's gonna use rain road for goodness sake? That's good enough for rain mode. But then again if you drive like a tit then you're gonna need all the rain mode for the up to traction control and everything I suppose isn't it? I 
done it again. I've, decided, I've not stopped, have I? Keep deciding me saying I'm going to stop, but I never do. Oh, it's cold in this. Believe me, this shaded bit here, no sun. Holy mother of Lemon Mary, whatever. Oh, oh, oh. This track I've got on this bike with the app is quite cool because it shows you the route. So I didn't have to record the route anymore. But the only thing is it does it in stages like so if, as soon as you send the turn ignition off, that's logged as one, you know, and of course you do, don't you? So it's it's got no pause if you know what I mean. And also it lock it shows <laughs> all your speeds. Mm. 12 degrees, plus it's damn sight warmer when you slow down. <laughs> Yeah, well there we are guys, I thought I'd take you for a little spin with me. I appreciate your company. Hope it was entertaining enough for you. No f***ing nodders today. Let's f***ing try that, see if that works. I'll get their attention, won't it? <laughs> uh, thanks again for joining me. Heading back now. It's uh, time for breakfast. And uh, yeah. Come along for the next one, I appreciate it. Tell all your friends, get them to join us, subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want to do. Subscribe, press that little bell, and you don't miss any of this fantastic content. Why would you want to miss it? I mean, come on. It's what dreams are made of. <laughs> Thank you, people of the world. I much appreciate it. You take care of yourselves, keep safe. See ya! Look at this old deep school roofing. Very old, aren't they? Looks like she's got a hangover.